Hi kids and hi parents. I hope everybody's had a great week. As I'm sure you are all well aware of by now, um, we are going to be going back to our online format for just a couple of weeks. Um, we're gonna be coming back to in-person um, Sunday school on the second Sunday of September, I believe. So I won't see you guys until you're back in school. So I hope the rest of your summer is great. I hope you are able to enjoy it to the fullest. And I hope that you are able to adjust to whatever form of school you're going back to in the fall, whether it be virtual or back in person. Um, but without further ado, let's get on to our Sunday school lesson. So today, the title of our lesson is called The Parable of Talents. This particular story is found in the book of Matthew, chapter 25, verses 14 through 30. We'll read that later. But, so before we begin this lesson, I want everybody to take a minute and just think about some of the things that you do well. Now, it's important to know that God gives us all different kinds of talents and gifts. And we each have our own unique talents and gifts, whether or not we realize it yet or not. Um, so let's go back and let's think about what some things are that we do really well. Maybe you read really well, better than your friends. Maybe you're really good at math. Um, you're really good with your hands or with art. You can color inside the lines or draw really well. Maybe you bake the best batch of chocolate chip cookies out of anybody that you know. For me, I know my special talent is singing. It's something that I really love to do, something that I've always been told I'm really good at, and what ironically enough got me started here at OCC. Um, so all of these gifts and talents that we're thinking of are all things that God has given to us. And we're called to use these gifts to honor God and share his love with everybody around us. Now, as I said earlier, our story today is found in the book of Matthew, chapter 25, verses 14 through 30. And this is another parable that Jesus told while he was here on earth. Now, if you're forgetful of what parable means, it is an earthly story that has heavenly meaning or a scriptural meaning for us. So before we read this, it's important to note a bit of a language difference when we're reading this. So it's called the parable of talents. Now back in Jesus's time, um, a talent referred to a certain amount of money. So when we're reading it today, we can liken this scripture to um, having a certain amount of money, or we can liken it to the gifts that we have that God has graced us with. So let's take a minute now and let's read that scripture. All right, again, Matthew chapter 25, verses 14 through 30, and I'm going to read that right now. Again, it will be like a man going on a journey who called his servants and entrusted his wealth to them. To one he gave five bags of gold, to another two bags, and to another one bag, each according to his ability. Then he went on his journey. The man who had received five bags of gold went at once and put his money to work and gained five bags more. So also the one with two bags of gold gained two more. But the man who had received one bag went off, dug a hole in the ground, and hid his master's money. After a long time, the master of those servants returned and settled accounts with them. The man who had received five bags of gold brought the other five. Master, he said, you entrusted me with five bags of gold. See, I have gained five more. His master replied, well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful with a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Come and share your master's happiness. The man with two bags of gold also came. Master, he said, you entrusted me with two bags of gold. See, I have gained two more. His master replied, well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful with a few things, and I will put you in charge of a few things more. Come and share your master's happiness. Then the man who had received one bag of gold came. Master, he said, I knew that you are a hard man, harvesting where you have not sown and gathering where you have not scattered seed. So I was afraid and went out and hid your gold in the ground. See, here is what belongs to you. His master replied, you wicked, lazy servant. So you knew that I harvested where I have not sown and gathered where I have not scattered seed. Well, then you should have put my money on deposit with the bankers so that when I returned, I would have received it back with interest. 
So take the bag of gold from him and give it to the one who has 10 bags. For whoever has will be given more and they will have an abundance. Whoever does not have, even what they have will be taken from them. And throw that worthless servant outside into the darkness where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Now this is kind of a confusing scripture to unpack, but basically, um, as we mentioned earlier, a talent back then referred to a certain amount of money. Um, but we understand that today this scripture can um, apply to our different abilities um, and our talents that God has given to us. When we bury what God has given us, get, bury our God-given talents and gifts, we are denying who God created us to be and who God wants us to be. But when we uh, share and invest those gifts and share them with other people, we multiply and we honor God. We share God's love with multiple people. They see it, they receive it, and then they themselves do that as well. So at the end of the day, what's important for us to remember is that every single one of us has a special God-given gift or talent that we have received. Even if we don't know what it is yet, we'll figure it out. And when you do figure it out, it's important to remember to use it in a way that honors God and shows our love for God and shares our love for God with multiple other people. I hope everybody has a great week and I'll see you next Sunday. Bye!